Oh, that was a last minute fish too. Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are back out here at Tenor Rock at a new lake and I also have a special guest with me today. I got my friend Chase here with me. What's going on folks? I just met Chase this year for the Slay Nation uh, Central Florida Trail and uh, we have fished together um, on the trail but we've never actually just came out and fished just for fun. So today we are going to have a friendly challenge. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to fish exclusively uh, summer baits. We're going to have five um, one hour periods. Uh, the first hour is going to be top water and that's going to be broken up into two 30 minute sections. One is going to be buzz bait for the first 30 minutes and then we're going to fish frogs. And then we're going to go subsurface reaction. We're going to go to swim jigs and then some crankbaits. And then finally finish off with some worms, some curly tail, ribbon tail worms and um, some shaky head worms to finish off the day. We're just going to be fishing this morning. We do have some weather blowing in later in the morning. I don't know what mother nature has in store. So hopefully she behaves and we can finish this challenge. Uh, to win today, you're going to have to have the five longest bass. So we're going to keep track of the five longest bass. See how we do. I don't know if there's good quality out here or not. It's a beautiful place. We're the only ones out here. So we'll see if these bass will behave today. But the five longest bass wins. So let's see what these fish has in store. As always, I appreciate y'all watching. All right, let's go fishing. All right, Chase, good luck, man. We'll see you, good luck. Yes, sir. Oh, there's a big gator to start off with. Uh, let's not fish over here. <laughs> yeah, there's one by the boat ramp. <laughs> The bass are going to have to be 12 inches to count today. It's fun fishing challenges like this because it forces you to stick with a bait and make it work and you start learning different tips and tricks with it. Normally if I don't get bit in the first 5 or 10 minutes with a bait, I'm cycling through and sometimes it's hard to learn that way. This morning I'm starting off with a Strike King Buzz Bait. It has three props on it. Um, this is like a 3 8 ounce. I'm fishing it naked. I took that skirt off and I'm running a, a Strike King Rage Tail, 3.75 inch. I just trimmed off the head just a little bit so it fits better on there. So that is what I'm fishing with this morning. It's a pretty subtle buzz bait. All right, Chase, I'm moving on. See what we can find here. It's hard because every place looks like there should be a 10 pounder. Yeah, 12. <laughs> or 12. All right, got one on the buzz bait. Right from that wood, barely hooked. Chase, I, see it. I think we may have our first keeper, sir. That ain't a 10 pounder. <laughs> I'm just hoping it's over 10 inches. <laughs> that ain't a 10 pounder. Oh, I, I think we're gonna make the cut. All right, come on, 12 inches. Thirteen and a half. That is the way to start the day. Thank you, buddy. 
been a while since I've caught a buzzbait fish. That was fun. I wonder if he has any friends over there. With how calm the water is out here, I'm definitely going with the more subtle approach with a smaller profile buzz bait. Nowhere near as much racket. I'm able to go very slowly with it. I don't want too much action this morning and spook these fish because as you can tell, it is calm right now. Right now we are in the thick of summer. It is July and it is hot out. Water temperatures are um, in the high 80s. So we're a full on summer pattern. So that's what this challenge is focused on today is fishing exclusively summer pattern baits and just kind of forcing us to keep them in our hand for a certain period of time and see who comes out on top. when it came right out that'll be close to 12 i think that'll make the cut yeah that should make the cut all right another one on the buzz bait i have about 10 more minutes with his buzz bait 13 and a quarter i will take it thank you buddy I'm seeing some more wood over here on this bank. I'm just gonna continue with the pattern that I've found so far. I would really like 75 inches today, but I think a limit's gonna go a really long way. Have one or two minutes left with this buzz bait. Need to make a few more good casts with it. Oh! Oh! That, of course, the big one got off. Come on! That was a last minute fish, too. Oh, that was a good two and a half, three pounder. I cannot believe that. All right, last catch with a buzz bait. That one hurt. All right, buzz bait is over. That was a, probably a 18 to 20 inch bass. But what you gonna do? That's topwater fishing. All right, time to move on to a frog. Okay, here we go, frog time. First 30 minutes is up, two in the boat. Just missed a giant. Let's not do that again. <laughs> that was a big old gar. That scared me to death. We are about halfway through the frog round with no takers besides a random gar, which does not count.
All right, last cast with the frog. Not a single bite on the frog. Moving on. Okay, swim jig time. An hour with this swim jig. If I was being completely honest, this is the one that I am dreading the most because this is the bait that I have the least amount of confidence with and Chase has the most confidence with this bait. But, just gonna throw it for an hour, keep an open mind and see if we can trick one or two. I would love to be able to catch one on this swim jig. That would really help keep me on pace for the day. Alrighty, everybody. So just a quick update. I just got off the phone with Chase and we're going to be changing baits every 30 minutes so we can get off the water at 10 o'clock. There's some weather that's moving in and uh, we just want to be safe. So change your baits every 30 minutes. And because of that, we are only going to do our best three for length. So that means we have two and um, we just got to get that one more for a limit and then try to upgrade from there. And it's almost 830. So we're almost done with the swim jig and going to move to the square bill and just gonna try to fill a limit real quick and maybe try to get a cole or two before we get out of here, but just wanna be safe. We got about maybe an hour and a half left to fish, so let's see how we do. Just a few more minutes with this swim jig. All right, on the swim jig. Just in time too. Wow, it's not a bad one either. So that officially fills the limit since we change it up real quick. It's not a bad one. All right, that is a 16 incher. That ends our time with the swim jig. That's the way to end it right there. Thank you, buddy. Sweet. Okay, three more rounds to go. Moving on to the square bill for 30 minutes. I'm hoping we're able to catch some fish on these next three rounds because these are definitely more of my confidence techniques. And now I'm throwing a KVD 1.5. The average depth out here is probably only three or four foot, so this should be perfect. And there's all this wood mixed in here. I would think I'd be able to catch a fish or two on this. out in the middle that might be a call I think it's gonna be a little call all right All right, that gave us three quarters of an inch. 14 incher. Thank you, buddy. 
on that square bill. So we now need to get rid of a 13 and three quarters. So if I was gonna be happy with a 75 inch limit for five, that's a 15 inch average. Then we need 45 inches for three. Where are we at right now? I think we're at 43 and three quarters. I'm doing my math right. So need one 15 inches or better. We are halfway through the square bill round. That's a call. Come on, buddy. All right. That just got us our 15 inch average, that's for sure. Maybe close to another 16 inch or so. Got about five minutes left in this period. Okay, that is keeper number five. I just got rid of a 1375. That's a solid upgrade. Thank you, buddy. He was definitely trying to come off. There's no doubt about that. Five more minutes with a square bill. One more cast with this square bill. Square bill round is over. Got two more rounds left. Moving on to the ribbon tail round. I'm going to be throwing a seven and a half inch zoom June bug on a three out owner wide gap hook with a 1 8 ounce weight pegged got 30 minutes with this guy put a little scent on for good luck all right round five Getting close to halfway through this round with this ribbon tail worm. There are some little fish picking this thing up. All right, let's try this again. Last cast for the Texas rig. 
moving on to shaky head ain't just in time too because that storm's moving in quick a few bites on the texas rig but nothing in the boat okay last round we're gonna throw the shaky head around for as long as we can we may be cut short because that weather is moving in quick How you doing? Oh, you're in a problem. Yeah? I just caught a 10 inch. A 10 inch? Yeah. Any keepers? That's it. I'm getting bites. I'm, I'm making so many mistakes. Yeah, I, I had several bites on the Texas rig, but I didn't land any. Yeah. I think a lot of them were bluegill nipping at the tail, honestly. That storm is moving in. We're gonna need to get out of here soon. That's a tiny one. Hey, Chase. We're probably gonna need to get gone, man. There are some serious clouds moving in and we're gonna wrap it up. It is not worth it. Yep, we need to get out of here. Alrighty, everybody trip is over uh, we're having to get out of here real quick um i wound up with somewhere around i think 74 inches or so i'm sorry 44 inches uh, we're only doing uh, best three and uh chase what, are, what do you have to report sir well we did catch a 10 incher you know. <laughs> the good lord blessed us with a 10 inch i can't i can't complain <laughs> well there you have it. Um, this was Chase's first time out here at Tinner Rock. What'd you think about it, Chase? Oh man, it's beautiful out here. It's very secluded, very quiet, besides, you know, what else is going around the property, but <laughs> I mean, it's phenomenal out here. Everything just looks fishable. Yeah. I mean, it's just another Florida lake. Yeah, it, it was a beautiful morning and then it got real dark real quick and uh, there is weather moving in behind us, as you can tell. So we're wrapping things up. Uh, it's like 9.45 right now. We launched at 7, so not even three hours out here, and we're having to get off. But hey, as always, y'all, I appreciate you watching. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out a great deal. Appreciate you watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.